the barefoot emperor. Now this is an interesting comedy which I enjoyed very much at times. It was intelligent, provocative, uh, thought-provoking, uh, complex, realist and also uh, with performances that are excellent. The actor in the leading role may remind you of of classics of the silent movies uh, whose face that says so much uh, at times it, <laughs> it is indeed um, let me see who do we see them because they're the uh, stars uh, of our little show um, so uh, we, we some of us were from those watch uh, Cinemax, the films on Cinemax, one and two here, uh, and elsewhere if we have it here, of course. Uh, you can probably, if you want, you can probably find it on HBO Go, which I'm not sure we, uh, if we have here. I mean, I, I, we don't even ask for it. Uh, Balzac, never mind. Uh, so I don't know if it's even available. We've seen um, um, King of the Belgians <laughs> with pretty much the same crew escaping from Istanbul uh, in that first installment, let's say. Uh, then um, driving across the, the Balkans. Trying to escape the Turkish uh, secret service or something. Some nefarious elements there. Good political points. Also, here there, there's irony, there's satire, and, you know, and um, sardonic takes on what's going on in Europe. Uh, with a very strong surreal touch, uh, more than a touch. Uh, lens, I guess in this world landscape. Uh, so, uh, the, the king of the Belgians travels dressed as a, as a Bulgarian singer, and then you have a Bul Bul Bulgarian song there, uh, some dance, uh, set against the background of, they have something, uh, a landmark there, some, something strange, something um, uh, built for some civil reason, military, I don't know, uh, though I think I had Bulgaria in my portfolio, as AT&T representative for Romania and Bulgaria, that's what my calling card said, in that I was selling, let's say, minutes on a calling card, uh, sorry for AT&T, so I was on that side of the business, which was so small, in revenue. Uh, I was half here and what? 75% here and 25% there. Anyway, um, so that, that was that was very funny and very good. Now, uh, the same King of Belgium uh, sees his country doesn't do great, which is uh, an irony and a um, jocular uh, aspect in the movie, but it is also serious. Uh, let's just say anything also to Belgium, if in fact it's the country where I spend most time, as in three weeks, I've never spent anything like it uh, anywhere else. Well, there were states of one post. Uh, uh, so they do have a problem there with the Valois and Flemish regions uh, eventually falling uh, apart, they will separate. So it does happen here, so there's a crisis. Uh, the king is in um, the Balkans and he's attending some reenactment, some celebration in some of the beginning of the First World War. 
the assassination of the Prince Franz Ferdinand by a patriot. So that's nationalism, Serbians, you know the Yugoslav disintegration uh, and the wars there. So there is this incident, they uh, have an Albanian entourage, they have a virgin cycle that is covered for his majesty. Because he thinks the sniper thinks he's under attack. In that reenactment, they have this thing where there's a gun. The sniper shoots and he shoots his majesty. He's taken to hospital. It's surreal, unreal. In history, we have things like that too. Actually, that's a very good movie. And now I think I'm talking to you. I realize that this is a good discussion. Because he's taken to this island, to this hospital used by Tito, the leader of the communist Ustak. In fact, there's the different species. People were escaping Ceausescu from his dictatorship uh, across the Danube into Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was the free world for the standards of here. So Tito has this hospital, and there are rooms for various. Uh, Personalities, celebrities. You had uh, Brezhnev woman. His Majesty now is called Brezhnev. Every patient there has uh, the name according to the room where he is uh, treated. Brezhnev, uh, they have uh, uh, Che Guevara, I think. Uh, maybe they mentioned Ceausescu too. Uh, which one I think that it should be. Castro. Uh, there is a there is some American celebrity star with left wing left wing leanings. Anyway, uh, so they're thinking that they the submarine with some sick people escaping from Italy. They ask bizarre and it's asked for the truth. The Geraldine Chaplin, uh, in a role there. And then they have uh, a conspiracy and they want to proclaim the Emperor of Europe. This is the barefoot Emperor. And nominally, king, the former king of the Belgium, which is not, not there anymore, Belgiums. <laughs> you have the barefoot Emperor. Funny and actually very good.